Hi, everyone, and welcome to Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope. I'm Janet Harley, your host, and it is an honor to have with me today Isaac Hernandez. Hi, Isaac, and thank you so much for joining me. Oh, you're more than welcome. The honor is all mine. Oh, bless you. Isaac is a TV show host, Faith on Film, but he's also so many more things, and you can read about uh, more about him in, in the post. And after this short break, our brief introduction, uh, we will get back with Isaac. Stay with us. And welcome back. Isaac, if you will, please share with us in this season, what has God given you to do and how is faith helping you do it? Well, you know, I'm glad that you say this season, because I think a lot of times as, as we go through life, we don't realize that we're actually parts of seasons, even God's purpose. There are seasons that take place. There are. Mm -hmm. and yeah. And a lot of times when, when we're young, you know, we think, oh, this is it. God's got me in the right place now and <laughs> I'm going to move forward. And then a few years later, when that ends, you kind of go, oh, my goodness, did I, did I miss it? Or what, what, what happened to me? You know, and that has happened to me several times, actually. But now that I'm more mature, <laughs> as, <laughs> as, uh, <laughs> as I look back, I realize that, number one, yes, they were seasons. And the other thing is that they actually all kind of connect. So in other words, all of them have led me on to the next and then on to the next. And they've prepared me in some way for mm -hmm. what is today's season. Yeah. Now, is, is today's season it? Is that it? Is, have I reached the, uh, the ultimate one? I don't know. I, you know, this could be for a few years and then uh, something else comes in. Yeah. Uh, but it does help to understand that... <clears throat> And, and to not let when a season ends to kind of, you know, disillusion you or discourage you. Right. Uh, I think uh, that was very helpful to me two years ago <clears throat> when after like 13 years at a job that probably has been the best job I've ever had. Now, I've been in Christian media, Christian television all my life, pretty much. I mean, I started volunteering at a... At a network called Trinity Broadcasting Network when I was, I think, like 17 years old. Wow. It's a long time ago. And yeah. eventually got <laughs> hired there and then did 25 years with Trinity Broadcasting. And then, you know, there were other times I did freelance work. Uh, and, and, but this particular job was uh, one that I really enjoyed a lot. Not that I didn't enjoy the others. It's just that this one was very good for me financially, for instance. Yeah. And then two years ago, it came to an end. It just... That was it. They had to lay off a bunch of people. I yeah. was one of those. Now, I yeah. could have, had I still been in my younger years, I could have been devastated. Oh, no, I lost my job. But in this particular time, I actually got excited. When I got the call, sorry, we're going to have to lay you off. I got excited because I knew that means that there's a new thing coming. God already has a new season for me. Mm -hmm. What is that season? Well, <clears throat> it's interesting that just a couple of months before I got laid off, I had started doing a TV show called Faith on Film. The reason for that show was literally that at like, oh, it was like 3 in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, I wake up and the first thought on my head immediately was, do a show in which you interview people in the Christian film industry. That was it, simple as that, no, no further instructions, no yeah. nothing, just do a show in which you interview people in the Christian film industry. And, and then I began to think about that. And first of all, I thought, well, I've never been in front of the camera. I mean, I've, I've been a director all my life, you know, and mm -hmm. uh, this is going to be something different. <clears throat> but I knew I had to obey because I'm used to that already. You obey God. It doesn't matter what you want. It's what he wants. And so I began to think about it. Okay, what do I do? So I thought, well, okay, I will just do, a, do launch a YouTube channel and put on this show in which I interview, <laughs> you know, people as, as a little podcast. <clears throat> but what I did was I posted on Facebook, I'm going to do this show. I'm going to be interviewing people in the Christian film industry. And it will be debut April 1st. And then I thought, oh, my God, that's April Fool's Day. 
So I put on there. So, so I put it, no, this is not an April Fool's joke. This is real. I'm going to do it. Now, why did I do that? I did that because I knew that if I didn't make it public and not, you know, have not be accountable, I would probably talk myself out of it. You know, yeah. at some point I would go, what am I thinking? Mm -hmm. I, I couldn't do that. I've never done that. Yes. There's no way I can do it. But because yeah. I made it public, then I knew right. I have to do it because my word is You're very important. Committed. I am committed <laughs> to doing committed it. You're committed now. So I put that on there. <clears throat> and I mean, immediately within probably a few hours when I put that in, I get a message on, on the comments line from a streaming network, a worldwide streaming network. And the guy said, Isaac, can I carry your show on my on my streaming platform? Wow. So I said, hmm, well, I said, I you do realize it's not a big show. It's just going to be me, you know, like I'm doing right here, me in, in my <laughs> in my you know my house, and my guests will be brought in uh, through the internet as well. So it's just not like this big set and big show and all that. And right. he said something very interesting that just really made me, <clears throat> uh, I mean, it just really humbled me. And that was, it doesn't matter. It's you that I'm interested in. Wow. <clears throat> okay, oh, I wonder, you know, what, what is that all about? So I said, yeah. okay, I'll do it. This is all on the comments line, by the way, for all the public to see. So then I get another comment from a guy that was running a pretty big network that was on direct TV. Now, this is a broadcast, not a streaming platform. This is a broadcast network. Right. Into, I think back then it was like 17 million homes. And he used to work, he was working for the same company that I was working at at the time. I hadn't been laid off yet. So he says, well, Isaac, you work for us. How come we're not getting your show? <laughs> so I said, Bob, it's, it's not a big show. I mean, he goes, well, you, you let me decide that. So before, he, before I even started the show, I was already on a, <clears throat> on a worldwide streaming platform <clears throat> and a cable network in the 80, 17 million homes or so. That's why. Right. That's God. So you ask, how does faith play a part in this? Well, it's because I put all my faith in God and I don't question what he wants me to yep. do. I say, God, whatever you're going to do with this, you do it. Uh, you know, two, two and a half years later now, I'm on 25 with, with Faith on Film. I'm on 25 different uh, TV networks, platforms and TV wow. stations. I'm on like three, three networks, including yeah. one in Canada. I'm on uh, right. like four independent stations, including two major market ones, Atlanta and Orlando. And I'm on uh, uh, like 17 streaming, streaming platforms, uh, including our own YouTube channel. And I've added a co-host with me, which I'm so thankful for. Yes. I've added a lady named Holly McClure. She, yes, she is. She, she's also a veteran in this industry. And, and we complement each other, you know. The, we we yes. work together real well, and yes. she, it has really relieved a lot of the stress because every time I was about to do a show, I would I would go into a little bit of stress mode. Oh man, am I yeah. going to be able to carry half an hour talking to somebody? Am I going to ask the right questions? Am I gonna, you know, yeah, yeah, and yeah. Uh, and so she has really relieved that. Where I don't, if I go blank, she kind of just steps in anyway. <laughs> <laughs> That's wonderful. So, That's wonderful. Thank you. Yeah. I'll tell you what. Well, it's taken a lot of faith. You step out on faith yes, and commit and surrender it all yeah. to the Lord. That's and the important part. Let him take it and do it. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. the important part because uh, I've always felt like, you know what, uh, the plans that he gives me have to be much bigger than me, the much bigger than I can do. Yeah. Because if I could do them, first of all, I wouldn't need them, right? I can do it. Why do I need exactly. God? Um, yep. And then I obviously wouldn't give him the glory because... I would kind of feel like I did this myself. So by going much bigger than I would have ever anticipated I could do uh, and having my faith in what yeah. I know his purpose for my life is, uh, has really, I think, is, is what's made it all possible. Yeah. And it's all him. That's why I say it. That's all it. Him. That's it. That's it. Amen. Oh, gracious. What a great uh, testimony that is Thank of you. your faith and uh, what God is having you do in this season. Yes. Thank you so much for sharing You're that. Well. And I want You're to well. let people know about your YouTube channel. Yes. So you can certainly yeah. go and subscribe to Isaac's YouTube channel uh, and his uh, Faith on Film. Uh, it, it is a wonderful show. And you know, such a good timing right now for such mm -hmm. a time as this because mm -hmm. of the uh, faith-based films that are coming out, uh, being done, 
and uh, it's just a, a wonderful time. Uh, and I myself have uh, talked with and, and uh, plan to talk with more of the faith-based actors uh, in, in about what they're doing in what yes. God has given them to do in the season. And uh, I'm just so um, pleased and proud that uh, that more and more of the faith-based films are coming out. Yeah, yeah. There's there's definitely lots of them. You don't hear about a lot of them because uh, it's, it's only the big ones that are studio films that you hear about. Yeah. But a lot of the smaller ones, you don't. And there's lots I, of them. And by yeah, the way, lots, lots, lots of, of lots of Hollywood actors are coming out. And I don't mean they're coming out as gay. They're coming out as Christians. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. That's just awesome. Thank you again. You're what welcome. an honor to have you, Isaac. And I uh, just uh, uh, appreciate all that you are doing, uh, doing for the Lord in this season. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you all for watching. And I also want to thank Creative Motion Network and Abundant TV Network. Great networks for you and your family. And have faith. And look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless.